Hello guys and welcome back, it's Total Eclipse here with our first satisfactory video. Apologies it's taken me so long to get this video out to you and also for the audio quality today. But we are back today and looking at another advanced splitting guide. Now these are for those of you who have two belts transporting items and are needing to merge them together in order to split them like the prior splitting guide. Now if you do like this video, please do drop a click on that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. So first up we have the two to three merge and split. Now this is pretty simple and there are two ways of doing this. Um, the first is to merge the two lines together followed by splitting them with a single three-way splitter. However, if you're running two full lines, which is more about what this video is going to be focusing on, you could also use a splitter on each conveyor line followed by two mergers. Now for this example, you would place a merger between the two splitters at the end of each conveyor line, as well as a separate merger in front of each splitter. Now you would then connect the two splitters in the middle merger, each by one line, and then connect the two remaining splitter lines to the next merger on both the lines. Then lead each merger straight to the final container or endpoint. So that's a really easy way to do a two to three merge, but things will start to get more complicated the more um, lines we split to. Now our second example is a two to five split, which is very similar to the one to five split that we did in the last video. However, we are actually splitting each line into two and a half. And we do this by splitting the line once towards the center where it connects with a merger, which we will connect to the other line and then connecting the two other splitter outputs to another merger, which we then split off to two end containers and the third line is sent back to the beginning to complete the circuit. This is then repeated on the other side and the central merger is also connected to a splitter which sends one conveyor to the end container and the two remaining splits from the splitter in the middle will be sent back to their mergers at the start as seen here. Now this will allow the two lines to split equally between the five outputs. Now our third split is very simple, with it being a two to six lane split. Providing each line is sending items equally, which I'm assuming for this video, we then only need to split each conveyor line into three using a single splitter on each line. Next up, we have the two to seven split, which again is a little complicated. However, the initial setup is exactly the same as the two to five line split, where we will be splitting the two lines into three equally divided splitters. However, the middle splitter will then send all outputs to three endpoint containers, and the two outputs on each of the outside splitters will go to the endpoint containers. Now, the important part, however, is having the extra output on the splitters on the outside to then merge back into the start line. Now our fifth split is another easy one thankfully, splitting two lines into eight. Now this just requires you to split each line once into two lines and then split those two lines again so that we have four lines heading to each endpoint on a single conveyor line. Now the penultimate split we have is from two to nine conveyors. Now, Again, this takes the same basic setup as the two to five or the two to seven split, first merging into three lines, and then from there, we only need to add a splitter onto each line and send the three splits to the endpoint, as you can see here. Now, the final split is a fair bit more difficult. Um, what we're doing is splitting two lines into 10 conveyor lines. Now, in order, to do this, what we're actually going to do is split each line into five. Now, th this is the same as the video that I showed previously, so you can check it out. There is a link just above. Um, and to make this easier for me to understand, what I actually had to do was split one line above and the second line below. Now, the reason for this is once we have split each line into five and merged the sixth line back to the beginning, 
we then need to merge the top split to the parallel bottom split and from there what we're going to do is split each of the five merged lines into twos and from there each line would go to the end destination. So there we are guys, that's another seven more advanced splits that equally distribute items across a manifold. Now if this has helped you, please let me know in the comments section. And if you did find this video helpful, please do hit that thumbs up icon. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do love this game, why not join our Discord? You can find the link below. And we have some amazing members who are always online and helping each other out and looking for fellow gamers. So, as always, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Ciao for now.